Hello, future Rossies and pre-med explorers. This is Milena Garcia, your host for Ross University Checking the Post, a pre-med podcast. This is our mini podcast featuring facts and information about our medical program, insights from current students, and tips from practicing physicians. Each week, this podcast will be broken down in small episodes, focusing on one aspect of our program, also having guests talk about their own experiences as students and as doctors. Welcome back, Future Rossies. Thanks for joining us again. Now, it's been a while since we recorded our first podcast on the Medical Education Readiness Program, also known as MERP. I thought it'd be a really good time to revisit the MERP since there have been some changes uh, to this prep program. So I decided to invite our MERP coordinator back, Kevin Neeson. Now, Kevin, I understand there's been some changes to the program. Now, before we go into the changes, let's go back and talk a little, uh, just give it a, a, an introduction again of what MERP is, please. Sure. MERP is a 15-week a prep program that we offer at Ross. Um, so if a student applies for admission into Ross University School of Medicine, the file is going to eventually go to our admissions committee. And in reviewing their file, our committee is either going to accept them directly into the med program, deny their application, or offer them a spot in the medical education readiness program or MERP. So MERP is a a 15-week program. Um, It's designed to help students build a very strong foundation in the medical sciences, and it's a guaranteed way to gain gain admission into Ross University. So if a student goes to MERP, they'll take medical biochemistry, medical microbiology, medical physiology, and medical anatomy. And if they pass all four of those classes, then they have a guaranteed spot in the following semester at Ross University. And on top of that, they're going to build a very strong foundation in preparation for the work that they'll see at Ross University. And understand the changes have been done to the format, the prerequisites, uh, change in tuition structure. Uh, Let's start with the format. What's changed about it? Yeah, I mean, this is a great time to do an update for for, uh, MERP because there have been some some changes, a couple of them pretty big changes, and then a couple that are are not so big, but but worth talking about. Um, The format for the program is is certainly one of the bigger changes. Mm -hmm. Um, Last Mm -hmm. time we did a podcast, uh, MERP was delivered in person, so students had to be on campus in either Miramar, Florida, or Toronto, Canada. When COVID hit, we decided, you know, we still want to have this program um, available for students. Uh, We want them to have this opportunity and to prepare for med school that obviously students couldn't be on campus in person. So the decision was made to pivot and create a a MERP program that could be delivered virtually. And it worked out really well. And we've been doing it virtually ever since. And uh, we have made some some improvements uh, each semester. And now it's at a point where we just think the benefits are great. It, it does offer a lot more opportunity for students. Um, for most students, considering MERP finances are, are something that they have to take into consideration. So cost of attendance without having to, to get rent when they move to, to Florida or to, to Canada. Um, you know, travel expenses, living expenses, and all that can be eliminated by doing the, the program online. So understanding those benefits, we, we decided to, to keep the program online. So that's that's definitely one of the bigger changes to MERP. Good point. And does it uh, interfere also or change anything with the formally required health insurance? That's a good point. Yeah, with, with the program being online now, we, we no longer require that students have health insurance. Okay. Of course, we, we certainly recommend students have health mm-hmm. coverage. We don't recommend students go without it. But we no longer require students provide proof of, of insurance or if they don't, if they aren't covered under a plan, we used to require that they use the school's plan. Um, so we no longer do that. Now mm-hmm. students are, are on their own for, for their health coverage. Now, the next major change, and I think it is a major change, is with prerequisites. Tell us more about that. Yeah, that's certainly a big one. So this this podcast is being recorded in July of 2022. Um, so just keep that in mind if this is if this is posted for a few years, remember that this is being recorded in July 22. So this is a brand new um, 
change that was just rolled out. So it starts in the upcoming August session of MERP 2022. Um, so we have changed the prerequisites that are required to attend MERP. Admissions is still gonna work the same way. You still have to apply to Ross University to be considered. So Ross University has its own group of, of prerequisite courses that you have to have completed. Um, but in prior semesters, when students applied, if they were missing any of those prereqs, their file would just go on hold until they completed mm -hmm. them, and then we would move forward with their application. Now we can sit, we can consider those students for more for uh, for starting MERP, even if they are missing some of the prereqs. So going forward, the requirements to be considered for MERP are one semester of general biology, lab is no longer required, one semester of math or pre-calculus one semester of chemistry. So that can be general chemistry, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, um, no lab required. One semester of English or humanities. If a student attended a school that English was not the, the language in which the courses were taught, they can take a, a TOEFL exam or, or an equivalent English, English language exam. And then the final requirement that a bachelor's degree is no longer required to uh, to attend MERP. So if you're a few credits short, you, you can be considered for MERP. Um, you do have to have 120 credits of college coursework completed, though, to be considered. So if I'm understanding this correctly, it does mean that the, the MERP can be used as a substitute. It doesn't mean that the, the students can apply, the applicants can apply now with the missing prerequisites. It means if they successfully complete MERP, they no longer have to take these prerequisites at all, correct? That's correct. Yeah, you can be considered for MERP with the with the prereqs I just mentioned. Yeah, and when you're done with MERP, if you pass, you don't have to go back and finish those. You, you go directly right into the med program. We, we just feel that the, the subject matter, the, the courses that students are going to be taking in MERP are going to be, you know, provide far more preparation, so a much higher level of preparation than what a student would get from going back to finish those prereqs. So mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. if a student goes through MERP and does well, they're, they're going to be very well prepared to move on to do well at Ross. And what about changing the tuition policy? Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes. Yeah, so again, this is August. This is July 2022. Um, so starting in the December 2022 class, the total cost of attendance will be 13500 9000 of that will be tuition. So with our refund policy, students who enter that program, if they withdraw for any reason along the way, or if they aren't successful in completing the program, they're going to get the, the 9000 um, tuition refunded. This is all really good information. Uh, thank you for taking your time to, to let us know what all these new updates are. And students who complete the program can expect to leave with a greater understanding of several key scientific disciplines, uh, confidence in their ability, right, to meet the demands for medical school and the possibility of already creating a small community of friends and supporters before they get there. Um, I certainly appreciate you taking your time. Uh, for everyone listening in, please, for more details on the benefits of MERP, you can go back to our original podcast that we did a couple of years ago, and you can always find the most updated information on our website directly. And Kevin, what is that website again, please? The MERP website is medschoolprep.com. Thank you very much. Anything, any last minute advice, anything else you want to leave our future Rossies with? I would say, yeah, if medicine is your passion, if this is something that you you know you want to do, I would say go ahead and apply to Ross. I think with some of these new changes, it just opens the door for, for more students to get started and, and get get into their, their medical school journey. Thanks again. Uh, I will let you go back to your study time. Thank you very much. Thank you for having <laughs> And everyone else, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for listening to Ross University Checking the Pulse, a pre-med podcast. This is Milena Garcia, your host. This podcast is made for you, so let me know what topics you want us to cover on future episodes. You can send me your comments, feedbacks, and requests to mgarcia at rossu.edu. Definitely follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Ross Med School or on Facebook. If you're listening to this podcast on iTunes, 
I am working my way to five stars. So remember to send me your comments and let me know your ideas. If you're on Spotify, remember to click on the follow button to get our future episodes. All right. See you future Rossies and pre-med explorers next week. Stop, 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 stop,